Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Neverwinter featuring my guardian fighter, Bren Karstark. Today, I'm also here with my partner, Roland, another faithful mercenary. Today, we're getting a mess in a, an adventure from uh, Sergeant Knox. As you'll recall in our last episode, one of his men, his wife, was sick with the spell plague, and even though they could not officially do anything because apparently people with spell plague get put into this uh, like a leper colony basically uh, they with the help of a wizard named Razad brought her to a hostess or a hospital like a hospital that he runs to try and help people that are spell plague but uh, I kind of got the feeling that this guy was not on the up and up and it seems like at the end Sergeant Knox thought the same thing so, uh, he's done a little bit of checking, and we're here to find out what he thinks. Protectors Enclave needs your help. I want to know more about that Razad character who helped Dorothy Linkletter. I've heard a rumor that someone matching his description was seen talking to Twalo the Bright, one of the city's preeminent wizards. Go to Twalo's home and talk to him there. He may be able to tell us more about Razad. Sounds good to me. Long sort of duty. Yeah, I'm, I got something better. I might be able to. S yeah, I can sell it for nine silver or convert it. All right. Sounds like uh, we got our work cut out for us here. Let's uh, make sure that we got the right thing. We follow the right trail of pixie dust. And I'm not sure. Actually, I'm gonna just take my horse and Roland. You can. Run along behind me. <laughs> Wee. Uh, oh, just ran over a commoner. Get out of the way when you see a horse coming. Wee. Off we go. Follow Bright's home. That's what. All right, so here we are, and uh, I'm not liking what I'm hearing. Some screams in the background. So, what I have to remember is bluff myself, and let's, uh, oh, that really doesn't sound good. Uh, come on now, where's my injuries? No, I have something for injuries here. There it is. So in case I get injured for some reason. All right. Foul spawn wretches. Wow. Made short work of them. Is going on here. Well done. Oh, he had some stuff on him, which I. Oh, someone's left a thing here. More quartz. That's always good. Convert that into. I'm not sure what to do with it when I convert it, but I'm doing it anyway. Ah! kind of muscled my way through that one. A healing potion, sure. Worked Moonstone, you betcha. Hey, there's someone back there. Friends, speak to a commoner. Th th thank gods you found me. I thought those monsters were going to eat me. What happened here? I, I was just on my way to work. I heard this awful noise and strange lights coming out of the wizard Twalo's house. Figures. Those m, -m, m monsters started coming out of Twalo's front door, wailing and screaming, attacking anything in their path. They kept saying things like, 
The way is open, and this world is ours. People died. It was awful. Please, you've got to stop whatever is bringing these creatures into this world. I don't know what Twala was dabbling with, but whatever is must be stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Wizards. Ooh, search the barrel. Yay! Someone put an Arcana Kid in a barrel for some reason? All right, boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Hey. Flawless victory. Yeah, these things are not very nice looking. I thought I saw another one back here. Indeed. <laughs> Scroll of Lesser Identification, that works for me. Ooh, hey. Someone left their pocketbook here. Out above take that. So, alright. Uh... flower there. Is that magic? I just go stomping all over someone's lawn, wondering if I can steal their flowers. Jeez, I'm a scumbag. Alright. I'm gonna knock on Twalo's door. Smart fighter quits while he's ahead. Yep, yeah, well, we ain't smart. Oh, where did those guys come from? Aha! You are a big one. Requires a religion kit, which I don't have. Longbow and a chart scroll. Master, perhaps you should listen to Arthur's warning. Razad worries me too. Uh oh. That's not sounding too good. is always good. That's something I can open. Yay. More quartz, that's always good, I suppose. Alright, so we're heading upstairs, it looks like. Hey, you know what? Got to see me, uh, actually do my ritual of devotion. Time to head upstairs. Come on, Roland. Well, I definitely don't like what I'm hearing upstairs. Origins of the Foul Spawn. Alright, that's, uh, gonna make some nice bedtime reading, I'm sure. Whenever I want to wake up screaming afterwards. Alrighty. Who, who's there? Thank you. Oh my god, here. Monster. Can you help my master? Let's find out. Oh. Thank, thank Ogma for sending help. I'm, I'm Lucian Pancrates, Master Twalo's apprentice. Master Twalo was working on a ritual when a portal opened and those Thalspawn began pouring out. He sealed the door, but, but many had already escaped and more were coming. We need to close that portal. 
I can remove the magic seal holding the door shut, but you'll have to go in and destroy the summoning crystals that power the portal. All right, destroying summoning crystals. Ready, Roland. Doesn't look so hot, does he? Despite savage injuries done to the body, this is clearly the remains of Twallow the Bright. Mercifully, he is clearly dead. All right, let's examine things here. A strange book lies next to the body. Though in bad shape, you can make out the book's title: Transmor Tr Transmorgifications of the Spell Plague. It appears to be the book Twala was working from when he died. I'll take the book. Oh, hey. Steal some more stuff from your house. I have no problem taking stuff from a dead man's house. I remember the last time, way back when I ran through this, and that guy gave me just a ridiculously hard fight. Now, I'm a higher level, I think, right now, but I'm also a little bit smarter about my build. Anyway, let's see what Lucian has to say. You did it! You closed the portal! Alas, it was too late for Master Tuolo. But how could this have happened? Let me see the ritual book. Strange. The ritual in this book is wrong somehow. It's supposed to grant insight into the spell plague, but instead, it opens a portal into the nightmarish far realm. We're all lucky to be alive. Master Tuala was lent this book by his friend Razad just this afternoon. This must have been some horrible mistake, mustn't it? How yeah. I'll, I'll bet. Alrighty, so Alright, we're heading back to Sergeant Box. And we'll see what he thinks about all this. Probably think the same as me. So rest up a little bit here if I need to. Doesn't look like I need to. Nice digs for a dead wizard. I'm an honest fighter. Ooh, there's a dog there. Hello, dog. Silverina. Alright, let me get back on my horse. Roland, follow along as best as you can. Nice little streets. Again, just really nice set design here. Oh, yeah, fighting evil always gives me gas. All right, Knox, old buddy. Come on. Let's see what you have to say. Protectors Enclave needs your help. This is bad. Oh, shit. If the apprentice's memory is correct, 
then Razad must have given that book with a booby-trapped ritual to Twalo right after you left Linklater's house. It could have just been a mistake. But the timing is too convenient, and my gut says something's wrong. Me too. So I'm uh, thinking. I think it's time we go wizard hunting. So check back again for another exciting episode in the Adventures of Bren Karstark. Till then, see you on the Sword Coast. Bye now.